Wilson Morales from Black Women TV. Hey, Simone, how's well, it going? Ben. I'm good. How are you? Good. We are here. Same job. <laughs> yes, we you know, are. You know, I know you've been talking about it left and right, but you know, you never know about job security, but it's always good to know that there's another home for the show and that most of the cast is back. You know, what was that feeling like? You know, how long was the process before you heard that, you know, it was actually happening as opposed to just the talks? I think it was about three months. Um, the long of a wait? I think so. I, I definitely met on a couple other jobs and was really close to signing on the dotted line to be a part of other shows when we finally found out that uh, Owen was picking up the show and that they were doing 20 episodes, which was like mind blowing. Um, it was amazing. One, <laughs> to know that I was gonna be able to play this character again. Two, to know that Oprah was now gonna be my boss and I was going to be on cable, which <laughs> you know is a dream. Network TV is its own animal. The beast. You it's know, you gotta, you gotta fight for those ratings. That's the name of the game when you're talking you network. Fight for the ratings, you got to sell Tide. And now we get to be a little bit different. The show is a little rougher around the edges. It's a little bit more grounded. It's a little bit more daring with the cases that we're handling, with the characters that we're bringing on, with the, the relationships and the storylines this season. So I couldn't have asked for a better way to, to go into season three. So where are we with Lola? Obviously, season two was all about COVID and everybody being careful, even though you're still going through the procedural cases and so forth. Where are we now? Is it a, obviously, as you mentioned, it's going to be different. New network. Is, is it a different feel or is it the same feel? You know, I feel like season three, we're calling it new beginnings. Uh, we see a lot of our characters in different positions. You know, Mark is now in a position in the DA's office trying to find his boss. Luke left the DA's office. He's a PD. Emily left the PD's office. Now she's trying to figure it out. Sarah left being a court reporter. Now she's in the DA's office as a victim's advocate. Everybody is shifting in a lot of ways. We're going into people's personal lives. We, she, we see Sherry's you know, parents and kind of where she came from. And we're definitely looking and angling for the Limily romance to reignite. But Lola, you know, she gets messy this season. She's got a lot going on. She's single-handedly trying to mess up her life uh, personally. And it is, it is, uh, it's exciting to watch. I know for me as the actor, I spoke with Dee Harris Lawrence, our showrunner, when we knew we were coming back. And I said, you know, I want Lola to get a little messy this season. And she was right there with me. And they did not disappoint our writers. So uh, we get to see, you know, these people that we know and love in different ways this season. And I think our audience is going to love it, especially our new audience members coming on to the show. Yeah, I was about to say, you know, Robin got some bleach on him because he's. <laughs> <laughs> we do have a different actor. Christian Keys will be playing Robin Taylor. And, you know, it, uh, it is a blessing to be able to work opposite great actors. And, you know, Todd, who played the original Robin, was, was such a gift. And Christian doesn't disappoint as well. You know, he stays working. <laughs> he's, that man he's, he's working at, you know, he like, he's watching the boys he's in this he's in that i'm like hey it's it's always good to be working no matter what yeah. no matter how big a road small you walk in there as they always say next man up <laughs> yeah yeah and so you know it was a it was a blessing to be able to get him to come over and join us and we have some scenes this season that you know i truly enjoy doing you know watching <laughs> Lola and Robin really have some real conversations on screen and some real arguments and some real makeup moments. Uh, I think now, our audience is gonna love it. Then we're gonna, are we gonna see, are we gonna be split between Lola the judge and Lola the mother and Lola being single every now and then when she needs to be? Robin is home. Robin is home. Uh, at the end of season two, he decided he was gonna step away from the bureau and be a full-time dad and help support her. And that is what we see. So we go into Lola's home a lot more this season, which uh -huh. I think is important. You know, you can't have a show with a lead and you don't see their personal life play out. Uh, and Robin was always in DC. So now we get to see Lola's personal life 
and how it then bleeds into her professional in the courtroom, which is, you know, great. But you definitely see her trying to balance it all, like a lot of us are. And then the rest of the cast, obviously a, a majority is back, you know, mm -hmm. and what's that feeling like that? Granted, not everybody could come back, you know, it's like Todd, but the, everybody else is still intact, you know, and yeah. that feeling like when you're in limbo for three months, it's hard to say no to new things, but you're able to make it work. I couldn't believe that we got everybody back. You know, they are a talented group of people and all of them could easily have gone other places and they chose to come back. And so I am extremely thankful that our family is intact in a lot of ways. Um, and this season, you know, we're all vaccinated and boosted. And so we're on set having a lot of the same fun that we had season one that we were too terrified to have season two. You know, I remember I lived in my trailer. Ruthie lived in her trailer. Lindsay, like the three of us were the most petrified. And so after every take, when the camera was turning around, we were running back to our trailers to just breathe, you know, breathe air with no mask on. And so this season, we are having a little bit more fun in ways that I think bleeds onto the camera. Um, and it, it's great. It's just great to be back. We are all extremely thankful to be working because as you just said, you know, every day that you have a job is a good day. Now, you, you mentioned 20 episodes. Are we getting 20 episodes all at once, or is it going to be split in between seasons? Um, well, I don't believe that we're going to have it split between seasons. But, you know, as we watch on a lot of shows, you take a little break. You take a little break <laughs> there. You're not going to see all 20 straight back to back to back. But um, I, we, we do leave you on a lovely cliffhanger when mm -hmm. we take that break. And I think that um, it's going to give you know, the fans some time to catch their breath and to give people who've been DVRing it time to catch up in order to be ready for, for the back half of the season. And so like, you know, there's a difference between obviously being on CBS and own, you know, sometimes people don't have the time, you know, especially you're going to be on a new day and you know, it's not going to be on Mondays, you know, so it's, a, you know, so not only is it a new day, but a new network. So you're going to, you know, you're going to get a new audience, you know, either they're going to play catch up with the first two seasons, especially when you see the fan base coming back on social media and praising the show, you know, what do we get in that's, that's going to be new or hot that a new audience can look forward to? So what I think is the, one of the biggest gifts of going to own now is that we also are airing on Hulu and HBO Max. So there are all of these people who are discovering the show for the first time. I'm getting messages with people who are like, I literally just discovered this show. I binged it in two days. And now I can't believe it's premiering tomorrow. Um, so one, I think that those people are going to not have to have had the year long wait of seeing where these characters are gonna meet them. Um, but I know that there are, like I said, storylines and court cases that are not only reflective of what we've experienced in this past year that we haven't been filming, but also are going to resonate with our audiences in very real ways. We have a case that is similar to one that we've seen play out in the media between a very popular sports star who was accused of sexual assault. And that case plays out in the court of public opinion as well as in the courtroom. Um, I think that it is important to tell those kinds of stories with the kid gloves off a little mm -hmm. bit because the people who go through those traumatic experiences or who have been victims of sexual assault know what it's like to be questioned by the police and to be questioned by lawyers and judges in a way that is demeaning to the trauma that they've had. And I think that our show now being on OWN has the ability to really lean into that kind of storytelling. Um, we are still making sure that our directors are coming from a lot of different perspectives. And so we do have, you know, some own favorites like Nima Barnett, who is directing an episode this season. We've got amazing new cast members like Roger Goodenberg Smith, who's joining us this season. And so we just have uh, so much life infused into this season that I think is going to just blow everybody's minds.
Mm -hmm. And so you definitely take stock into the storylines because you are reading this stuff like we all are, as opposed to like, oh, this is the script for the episode and you just play it out. You definitely take stock into it. 100%. You know, I have been shocked sometimes at the timeliness of things happening. Um, I, I mean, look at the fact that Kataji Brown Jackson is now a Supreme Court justice, uh, the first black female to be such and to be able to then have that reflect on the show with us giving her a moment on the show. It's, it's amazing for life to be happening at the same time. Um, we definitely are taking other things that have happened in our political landscape in this country and infusing it into the show because, you know, sometimes people don't have an outside perspective. Sometimes people don't look at people who look like me and believe that they can be arbiters of justice or that they can not be criminals or that they can be capable of their jobs. And I think that when people only get one perspective, one news outlet, they only read one kind of newspaper, they look to television to tell them what's going on outside of their own world. And so our show definitely tries to push the envelope in that way. And we're not uh, doing anything less this season. We're ramping it up even more. Simone, it's always good to see you. Like as I mentioned earlier, it's great to see you back. It's great to see Lolo back. Tuesday nights, we'll be happy to promote. Keep going. You know, I'm always here to support. Thank you, Wilson. It's so good to see you. Take care. Bye.